Y'all were the first group to win the X Factor UK. <laughs> From the beginning, did y'all ever think that was possible? No. No. I think we believed that there was something like we believed there was something special. We knew that we we had oh I don't know, it's just born. <laughs> it's, there's never been a girl group to ever win like anywhere in the world X Factor and then every time they were on the UK, they'd get kicked off. People just didn't take to girl bands as much. Every week we'd brace ourselves, we're going home, we're going home, we're going home, every single week. Oh. We, if we practiced our, you know... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah you, know, you know they were devastated, but yep, yep, yep. Where was your first kiss and who was it? Oh. 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 Personal. Yeah. Well, funnily enough, we were talking about our first kisses to each other and I was like, yeah, it was with this boy called Connor and she went, Connor? I went, yeah, because we're from the same town. And we thought it was the same person, but no, they went to different schools, different kind of Robinson. That's, that's this is a bit awkward. Does he? Mine was with this boy called Jack and it was disgusting. Yeah. And I felt really pressured and it was behind a tree. And it was like, oh, that's romantic. It was my most awkward. No, it was yeah, not romantic. Was it was really awkward. And then after, I just wanted to be sick. It was disgusting. Oh. It was not nice. Oh, poor Jack. Mel C from one of the biggest girl groups ever, the Spice Girls, appears in your new music video, Word Up. It's fantastic, by the way. How did that cameo? Oh, so yeah, it's really great. <laughs> How did that cameo so appearance hard. come about? We didn't even know oh. she was going to turn up. We yeah, didn't even know. know she was coming. It was, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was lovely. So it was so good though. She just turned up and she just she gave it this. She gave it this. Yeah, she was she like, it was amazing. Ooh. She's so good. Like literally, she's just exactly as she seems when she was in the Spice Girls. They don't hold back at all. We're gonna give you two different options and then you just pick which one you prefer. So, okay. okay. It's simple enough. Okay. So the first is Destiny's Child or Spice Girls? Oh, oh how could know. you do That's that to us? Like, half and half. Half yeah. And half. yeah. yeah. Half Good half. idea. TLC or the Pussycat Dolls? Oh. oh. No. Okay. For me, I'm going to say Pussycat Dolls. No, but TLC oh. is so cool. Yeah. And their music. They TLC's did. message were like unpretty and yeah. like stuff like that. Like, and and when you grow up with something as well, it means more to yeah. you. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So I'd probably go with TLC. I'm TLC too. Yeah. Haim or Iconopop? Oh, I'm going to say Haim. Haim. Right, we've met Haim and they're so lovely, but I love Iconopop as well. So yeah, again, 50-50. But Haim, <laughs> yeah, they're so talented. They're yeah, so they are. They? They're yeah. amazing. Yeah. Right, so it was really fun interviewing you guys. And now we're going to switch. Right, my lovelies. Yay. There are some nice questions. Now it's your turn to be in the hot seat. Yay. So you recently covered Destiny's Child, Independent Woman. Out of all their hits, why did you sing this one? I think we definitely knew we wanted to do a Destiny's Child cover just because we all love yeah. them so much. And they're so talented and they like really embody the whole group thing. Like, yes. And also you know, it has it, that part where it says, throw your hands up at me. So we, so wanted, like, we thought it would be a good singer. crowd yeah. incorporation. Yeah. And we also have the storefronts and there's like parts like, I bought it, whatever. So it like, kind of incorporated our theme. Oh, yeah. As well. Oh, so. What's it like touring with Demi? One thing about her, nobody knows. It's so crazy that we used to be performing on X Factor and we would be performing in front of her and she would critique us and everything. It's kind of like she's seen but us and watched us like grow from like little babies to like what we are now because she kind of helped put us together. She's a really caring person. I love that about her. Your song, Miss Moving On, is about breakups and getting over it. Is there any personal truth on the lyrics? What advice would you give to someone getting over a bad breakup? Oh, Major truth work. to those lyrics. Oh. Yeah. I, think for I went girl. through a really bad breakup once. Actually, when we first heard the song, it, that was the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, damn, that's so relevant to what I went through. Mm. We're all on tour living in close quarters. Do you ever fight? And what's the pettiest argument you've ever had? It was the shower. It was the shower. Was, hey, that's it pretty petty. Yeah, it was like, really petty. We were getting in the shower, and it was supposed to be five minutes per girl for a shower, but I took longer than she five minutes. She took so long. But I went at the but time she that went, I wasn't supposed she to. She went I was before supposed to go the time. Forth, so we ended up getting in the shower. Together. <laughs> yeah. So what was that about? Said that. When we got on the bus and like Camila was like, Ramani, are you still mad at me? And, and, she was that. That. and you were like, like, you were like, yeah. <laughs> Norm, you yeah. bitch. Sorry. It was it was so trivial, like it was, it was so it was ridiculous. Oh. We finally got to hang out, like yeah. 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 Yeah.